What's up guys? Srenry Gaming here and welcome to uh, you know a different video. I wanted to record uh, you know restaurant tycoon and I was thinking why not do this? I'm not gonna make it a series, it's gonna be you know a video you know when I play this game. So we're gonna start it a new game. It's uh, called Restaurant Empire 2. So hopefully we, uh, you know, is this is a little Just bit fun. Just a few more flips of the pan, and these muscles will turn out superb. Yeah, yeah. What hey, the fuck? How's it this going? is so funny. Hang on a sec. While I finish writing my great banquet. Okay. But please join me in my preparation. No. The muscles go great. No, just, just go. Armand, welcome back. Mon dieu, it's been such a long time. Great to see you, uncle. Indeed, it's been over four years. How have you been, uncle? Fine, fine. Good to see you again. Oh, there's, there are two voices. Sorry. How's your restaurant doing? Well, trays our table. table? Uh, I closed the restaurant down a few months after you left. You close you close down Tres uh, table. I did not want to be absorbed by only only food. The clients were dwindling dwindling. I developed a nasty protein condition. I needed to close it down. And how much did you sell it for? Sell the family relic. No way I still own the restaurant. It's not it's just not operating. So what are you gonna do? to do with this uh, with the restaurant I don't know I've been thinking and not and will not sell it but it's really not doing anything productive anyway hey I've got an idea let me run it I don't know I trust you do your best but I don't see which your inexperience you won't be absorbed by blah 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 blah, blah. you can read that all bullshit but uh, if you manage to get this you know Teresa Tabla up and running again and get so much a trickle of ruiny I might reconsider you mean you give me the restaurant if I get it up and running sure good then off you go Uncle gave hands over the keys to restaurants now get in shape and make me the tutorials proud. you will familiarize yourself with the basic aspect you can also hold your left mouse button on the tutorial window and drag the tutorial box anywhere on the screen go ahead and give it a try and then left click on the next button to proceed since this is your first taste of becoming a restaurateur yeah you're shut up. In the city view you can zip around the city by moving the mouse to the screen edges or by using the air. Yeah, yeah also I know that. I know this cheese. The now let's go into your restaurant. The area indicated by the air. This is the interior view of your restaurant. If you ever want to leave the restaurant, left click on the. You can also double click on any. If you are ever doubtful, your customers like to look at interest. These are the main categories of items that you may place in your restaurants. There are seating arrangements. Decoration, decoration, and textures, lighting. And there are wall-mounted, floor-mounted, and tabletop-mounted subcategories. All decoration items have at least one attribute, and at most two. Some increase a restaurant's comfort. What, what should we pla place? The now drag the object. While you're at it, place a few more items on the walls. When you feel you've got the hang of it, left-click on the next button. Good going. Now, placing items on a restaurant floor is similar to mounting items on walls. Pick a few items. You are obviously. Yeah, a fuck you. Get out. Finally. Can I, uh. Why can't I move it? Now, this is some BS. I cannot turn it. I cannot turn it. Yeah, why not save it? Yeah.
Okay, no, I have to do it like this. Uh, what should we do? What do we have to do? Um, I think I uh, go to uh, here. Home. Let's go. Let's go home. Yeah, all this bullshit. I'm not gonna. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to see this cheese. Want to do something. Yeah. Well done, Armand. Now that you know how to decorate your so restaurant, now we're gonna the make a food, food uh, thing. You will notice that the food menu interface has been swapped with the recipes interface. The repository gonna of all your all the recipes, recipes on it. Oh, come on. As you are just starting out, you only have a handful of recipes available. The five square buttons on the top of the recipe interface represent food course categories. Left click on the next button to continue. Below okay. the food course button, notice the flag. Now, instead of flipping through the list one by one using the arrow buttons, let's bring up the drop down list. Simply left click anywhere in the recipe yeah, display. Yeah, fuck you, I don't want to do that. Give it a try. I want to do something You'll else. You'll be able to view several recipes at the same time. You can also use the scroll bar to go up and down your list. To see your new recipe on the menu, left click on the view food menu button. Shut up. Stupid noob. Shut up, stupid noob. One. Two. Three. Four. No, oh, five. Okay. Chocolate tart. French apple tart. Strawberry July. Now you're back in the food menu interface. Make sure you are viewing the food menu interface. So far, so good. Now a pot well, we of hot and cold beverages will appear. And we want to cold have everything to sell. Into alcoholic and non-alcoholic. In case you haven't noticed, I'd like to give you a word on alcoholic beverages. If you plan to serve liquor, you will need to pay a liquor license fee of twenty thousand dollars up front before you can serve alcoholic beverages. Despite the licensing costs, this is a bargain as alcoholic beverages net the greatest profit margins. Left click on the next button to continue. Let's tart up the menu design. There are three things you can do to alter your menu's appearance. You can change the title font, the text font, and the background design of your menu. Let's start by changing the title font. Left click on the title font button. Shut the up! arrow buttons will appear to the sides. Use these arrow buttons to... You can also left click on the text font and the background buttons to change your restaurant menu's appearance. Design your menu until you have customized its appearance to your liking and to your restaurant suiting. Shut Remember, up! There's only a bit more to go. If you ever want to view specifics regarding any recipe in your menu, simply double click on the recipe name and you will be brought back to the recipe menu interface where you can view detailed information regarding that recipe. Go ahead, give it a try. Check any recipe's details by double clicking on a recipe entry in your menu. Notice the default price on the recipe menu. Which Shut the last up thing with I your fucking bullshit. You ever want to get rid of excellent. You what a noob. Okay, can I now turn? No, I'm still not. No. How did I did that the last time? Avenger mode right here. Yeah. What's he gonna say? 
You have added decoration and placed now we're gonna hire menu. some Notice staff. How the interface now displays any restaurant needs at least a chef to prepare the recipes a captain for taking orders a server to we have a captain serve the food and a receptionist to show the customer One. Their seats. Oh, and I almost forgot you need to hire a kitchen porter to wash the dishes Go ahead and hire oh, a folks. kitchen porter. Hello. No need to hire a chef when you've got your trusting self to work the kitchen. Once you are done hiring, left click on the next button to continue. A word on receptionists. They can only carry out their duties effectively if they have a reception desk handy. You can find a reception desk in the interior panel. You remember how to place items to equip and decorate? This is also the ideal time to explain to you how to rotate, move, and delete items. Notice the two round buttons near the end of the to delete. Yeah, yo, son of a bitch. click on the delete. Good. Now let's go back to the staff panel. Let's start with the list. Notice the two small icons. Now you're back in the detail view. Most of the buttons are now available. You should already be familiar with the first two buttons. The other buttons are raise or lower salary, transfer staff, and fire staff. These buttons are relatively easy to understand. I'll let you play with these at your leisure. When you are done familiarizing yourself with these buttons, left click on the next button to continue. Shut up. Fool. Let's uh, give them money. Because if they have like a lo low, uh, much, like, they perform better. So yeah, that's, you know. They have really good salary though. Oh my god. Oh, that, 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 that is me. Good going. You are just about ready to start taking orders in your first restaurant. Now, just be patient and customers are bound to come in. If you are impatient, yeah. you can always accelerate the game's speed by left-clicking on one of the four speed bars to increase or decrease the game's speed. Go ahead, try it now. When you are done experimenting with the speed settings, let the round button to the left of the speed buttons is the pause resume game. There's something you should know about the speed settings and how time passes. Now I'd like Fuck to explain yeah. to you about the information. Looking at the column of buttons, now take a look at the top row of buttons. There are from left to right. I know this. Rating, sales report, statistics, income statements, financial graphs, and complaints buttons. Click on each one. Now go back to pay special when you're ready to move on. Wow. All this, this restaurant is the managing goal. has got me really hungry. We need to have 30,000 monthly review and 35 customers restaurant. daily. Maybe someday your restaurant will not only so, be packed yeah. with a There we have it. He's cooking. Oh, that's me. That's me, bitch. Look at him. Oh, look at all the food. Look at all the food. What's his upstairs? Nothing. Just joking. We have two, like. Yeah. Help me. What are you doing? Go do your fucking job. Do your fucking job! Look at this cheese, man. I'm gonna speed this up. It's gonna go fucking slow, though. Wow, look at those monies. It's going relatively good. We all have complaints. Lack of seats. Wow. Are you kidding me? This lack of seats. We had loads of seats. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah. Then I have to, you know, do, do something about that. But for now, 
You know, I think this is good. It's 2 p.m. Almost have the the 35 35 uh, customers. Yes, we have that. Wow, that's nice. We have this almost. We have that. Oh my God! Look at this cheese. Come on, come on. We need seven thousand. We only need seven thousand. Come on, we can do. It. Oh, we can do this easily. Look at this. Three thousand more. We set it. We set. Or. Ah, look at this cheese. By two hundred dollars. Ah, come on. That's some BS. Oh wait. Never mind. Never mind. Look at all those complaints. Look at all those complaints. Look at all those complaints. Damn. What is the... Oh, yeah. You know. I'm too good. 7 p.m. Look at this. We need. We need something. Where's that? Dishwasher. That's easier. Like, can I remove that? Get away from that, son of a bitch. Fine now. Okay. Nice. That's good. So. Should be going better. So, 10 p.m. Closing, we have finished it. So, scenario one, we have completed. So, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, leave a like if you enjoyed this. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you're new. Peace out.